others. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, tell vous We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we appreciate uh, your ground one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I've done the gold report and all the softwares and all your books and read a generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Love is unconditional. In love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason with no justification. You are free to be what you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 57, NASDAQ up 212, SP's up 34. Gold, gold contract trading up $3.10 at 19.64 an ounce. We got silver up 69 cents, $25 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $1.33, trading at $77.08 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Trading up 25 ticks, 113.02. The 30 up a full point, plus six ticks at 126.31. And King Dollar, this is something else, man. King Dollar down 748 ticks, trading 99.773. Euro at 112, yen at 137. The British pounds at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first. You've really had, you know, this market started out, flat market, nothing happening all day long, and then it just started crawling, man. And <laughs> and the lower that dollar went, the higher the market went. That's, a, that's just a no-brainer, man. That's just how it works. So bottom line is that right at this particular point, we get the futures up 33. If we go to, over the SPY and we take a look at the SPY, SPY's running right now. We have, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a one-way market. You're up uh, $3.30, you're trading at four forty nine, And even when we look at the SPY, you know, bottom line is that you're, you're breaking away from this whole area. And uh, 4.43.90, you know, that's six points. Now, you know, six points can be done in a day as you get a downdraft, but the bottom line is that not yet. NDX, that's leading it once again. Actually, let's go look at the NDX, okay? So inside the NDX, you get Pindola do up almost 8%. Zscale is up 5.5%. Google's up 4.5%. JD.com's up 4.5%. Taken away from it, Fastenal's off 3%. You got Walgreens boots down 1%. You can see those, those are big numbers, man. And if we go NQ, we take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see is that you're basically way over the highs. Yeah, I mean, look at this. That's a break. And when you take a look at this, what we did, we had only done, the, the NDX didn't even do a 0.382 retracement. It almost hit it, but didn't do it. So that's a strong market, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Yeah, and I know we've been going up straight for five months right now. I mean, the bottom line is right since March, it's been a straight line move up. But guess what? <laughs> when you take a look at this dollar, man, this is a clobbering, I mean, in a monster way. This is, you know, these bars normally come in threes. Well, we got, we're almost at five of them right now. And if you take a look at this, what you're gonna see is that there's not much between you broke the whole consolidation and the next 
place where there's any support at all comes down to, you know, 96. And there's not much. You can see this. I had this on a weekly. So at 96, you get about four months. Not, yeah, about four. No, actually only three months of support. Let me bring this back a little bit for, further. I'll put it on a 10-year monthly, actually. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I see what's going on, man. Holy cow. Yeah, we're going to the bottom, man. We're going to 89. Because now what's happened, we're just getting inside it. Look at this. Watch this. Where is my thing? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is, a, this is a big number, man. Okay, there's that. Take this. Put that in a monthly. And then why do you see this? Yeah, you're already into it, man. We're going down here. Because what you have is that we just broke everything. You're in the lower range now. As soon as we got inside 109.71, you're in the lower range. That's, that's going to put game going all the way back to uh, 90, 89.90. And then let's, what, what is an ABC? Let's see, 114. Yeah, it's 14. That's 92. Okay, so check this out. This is pretty cool. 90 is down here. If you do, what's this? This is crazy. You do the ABC down, you also get 90. So the probability is much higher that that's where you're going to go. And, you know, we go down there, you're going to have the broad market continue higher. You're going to have the gold and silver market explode. And... Commodities in general explode, you know, because what, it ha what has also happened here, if you take a look at the gold market, see the gold market itself, each and every time that, you know, it's, well, it's been going sideways for three years, right? GC1. That being said, though, you're going sideways at a much higher level than we've been. We'll put this up. Watch this. You can see how this is set up. You get the top, you get the bottom of the consolidation, and this is where it comes down to the last two times it hasn't been able to do that ABC. So we'll see what happens this time. It's going to go, you know, we're right, we're right next to the highs this time. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. But this is a big number because you got 1161. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. Um, you get 900, which gets you 2,500. That's, that's how this baby's set up, man. You break that, you get 2,500 gold. And I expect that's what you're going to get, because if the dollar's going to 89, it's like, you know. Yet, yet, and this is where, you know, you do get higher numbers, um, and, but yeah, if you do the math behind you, I really can't buy more because our dollars are going down so dramatically. Now, I go over to the euro. Now, watch this. This is where this gets wild. This is where you can get your head wrapped around. Look at this. Look at this. The euro three months ago was only at $1.06. Now you're $1.12. Four months ago, the euro was $1.05. Yeah. So stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. We're going to be going through that... Uh, uh, gold market, we're going to be going through the S&Ps, and the bottom line, if you did go to that workshop, you know that he hit this uh, ball right out of the ballpark in a monster way. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 76, Nasdaq's up 225, S&Ps up 37. We'll come right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 57. We got the NASDAQ up 220. S&Ps are up 36. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And you can reach Tim every trading day, folks, at Ord. Dash oracle.com. That's Ord dash oracle.com. Tim Ord, you hit it out of the How park, man. Hey, thanks for having me on again. Well, anyhow, uh, I sent you over five charts, and uh, actually, I want to look at the uh, the uh, the weekly uh, GDX chart first. It awesome, looks that's the, the one I have picture. up. And uh, well, anyhow, this this chart goes back to like 2010, and I. What I did, uh, you know, the, the bottom, I'll describe the, the indicators. This is a weekly chart. And the bottom chart, I showed this chart before on this show. Yeah. The bottom chart is the uh, GDX up, down volume percent, and that's a cumulative. Um, I, t I took the cumulative of that chart on the weekly time frame. Okay. Then the next ch next chart up is the uh, GDX advanced decline percent, and I took the cumulative of that. And... Basically, since 2023, uh, it kind of went sideways. It did when it closes above the uh, mid Bollinger Band. It's usually a buy signal, and when it closes below, it's, a, it's usually a sell signal. Kind of. So, what I'm trying to do is catch the trend here. Yes. And if you notice, those previous signals they work out pretty well. Once, once those two indicators are below the Bollinger Band, it's a good sell signal a lot of times. But sometimes you get in these markets that are kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. And I circled the last one that happened. That was in, like, 2016. We kind of went up, went back down. I see and it. finally got going to the upside. Then that ran into a sell signal in, in late 2020. Uh, late 2020 or, or January 2021, uh, it gave a, an, a pretty good sell signal, even though the market on GDX went sideways. Uh, internally, the market, you know, the, the gold or the gold stocks in GDX went right through the floor. Right, because this pretty much measures the, um, uh, I, I guess, the acceleration to the downside of most gold stocks did in that time frame, from the sell signal in 2021 until uh, basically January of 2023. You know, 90. I don't know what exact percent it was, but. Majority of the gold stocks went through the floor. Yes, 
and uh, and that's usually a good sign uh, once you find the next low, right? Because everything's been destroyed. I mean, it's sure. So they're not going to go down anymore. So it's kind of a good deal. So now we're we're getting a, uh, you know, since basically January, uh, you know, we've gone up, we've gone down, we've gone up, and right now uh, the uh, weekly cumulative uh, uh, advanced decline. Is above the well. It's, on, it's a little bit above the mid Bollinger Band, which is on the buy, but on the bottom there, the up down volume is still below. But the advanced decline is really the market. I mean, if the Mueller stocks are going up than down, I don't care what up volume down up down volume says, because you got more stocks going up than uh, you're getting the bull market. Right. But anyhow, we've been kind of flipping sideways here. Um, and most of these signals, I, I uh, timed those signals in the past, most of these signals, when they do occur, they're about a, a year and a half, two year signal. And so in I, particular, thinking, Tim, you know, I, I'm sorry, in you, particular, too, because we went sideways for three years, this should be, a, you know, a longer time frame, right? The longer you go sideways or the long the base right. out, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you go sideways for a month, you know, you don't expect a rally to last a year. Right. Uh, but you go sideways for a year, you can expect a rally to last a year or maybe even longer. Yes. So it's all about base billing here. Right. And and that and that's what's kind of happening here. So I think an important signal is going on here, and I don't think it's just going to be a, well, we're having a rally right now, I think, the last possibly in October. But in general, I think we're, we're going to start something a little bit bigger, similar probably, I don't know, like, 2019 or 2016 type rally. Yeah. And I, I think they're going to be real meaningful because of what's been going on here with this chart. So let's flip to the next chart. Okay. And the next chart is uh, uh, GDX uh, advanced. Uh, the bottom window is GDX up down volume yep. uh, percent. And it's a 50 day moving average. And I screwed around with these different moving averages and tried different combinations of the up-down volume and advanced client indicators. And these seem to work best over, you know, why I could think of this chart. Or these type of indicators only go back to 2010. So I couldn't go back 50 years. But going back, you know, uh, what, 12 years. Or That's whatever, right. That's because the GDX has only been in place since 2010, right, which is cool. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyhow, so, you know, the bottom window is the – seems to work the best. Um, anyhow, when you get the 50-day uh, average of the up-down volume percent below minus 20, uh, either you're going to go sideways or up. The down is over. You know, so everybody hit the market hard. You know, all the selling is done. So either it's going to go sideways. A lot of times it does build the base, or it's going to reverse and start going up. And so uh, I'm thinking... Uh, if you notice, that indicator has been going up. Uh, I don't have the exact date here, but it looks like, uh, uh, well, I think it gave it a June June bicycle, mid-June bicycle. Yes. I don't have the exact date there. But anyhow, it hit, hit a bottom in June. It's turned up since, and it's been going up. So it's now it's flipped to um, a short-term indicator. And this is... The uh, same indicators, but on an 18-day average. Okay. And uh, the blue area is noted when the, both indicators are, you know, the blue area is when both indicators are above minus 10, and when it's below minus 10, that's when it's pink. I see. And so uh, the minus 10, it seems to be the, the numbers, not zero, but minus 10. Right. So we flipped above. Actually, the last show, I, I think we, we talked about this indicator. We did. And I told you, well, it turned up and turned back down. Right. And I'm thinking, you know, once it starts hanging around that minus 10 area, it start it is, it is going to go up because it just really doesn't stay there too long. It either makes its mind up going up or, go, or going back down. Well, last Thursday, you know, it turned down right. I think the day later it turned back up. And now it's, it's staying up. As long as this indicator stays above minus 10, it can, you know, it can consolidate and go back and test that. If you look back in uh, December, you know, of, of uh, last year, you know, it kind of got to that minus 10 level a couple of different times, but stayed above it, and the rally continued. So as long as this indicator 
stays above minus 10, uh, the rally should continue. I also want to note that seasonality turned bullish uh, uh, July 7th, and that runs into October 7th. So yeah. I'm, I'm thinking uh, that adds to the, I guess, the bullishness of this rally. And how high it will go, don't know. I think we'll at least break above the previous highs, which is up around 36. I think we may even go higher. I don't know. But even though when this indicator does turn down, say, later this year, because this is more or less a, um, a monthly, uh, I see, I hear your music. We, yeah, we can just, talk just on, stay on right the there. We, folks, we're just going to take a quick break. Tim's going to be right back with us. We have the Dow. They're running this market, man. We have the Dow Industrials up 69 and Nasdaq's up 226. S&Ps are up uh, 37. Tim and I are going to be right back, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's up 72. You get the NASDAQ up 226. S&Ps are up 37. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. You can reach Tim, folks, every trading day at Ord. ORD-Oracle, O-R-C-E-L-E dot -E com. That's ORD-Oracle dot com. Right now, we're talking about the GDX. Okay, Tim, we're ready. Right. right. Remember, uh, uh, I don't know if you remember this, back in April, um, if you look at, let's, let's look at the chart first, but back in April, if you notice the um, the bottom one, those is the 18-day uh, average of down, down uh, volume. 
and it reached over 40. And the next one up, uh, which is the, or the rather the advanced decline, 18 day average advanced decline is in the bottom window, which reached over 40 in April there. It looks like pretty much April 1st. I see that. The yeah. next window up. Yeah, uh, the next window up is the 18-day uh, average up-down volume, which ro- which also reached over 40 back in looks like you know April 1st, you know maybe give or take. But I said on we were talking, and I said that usually I went back in history, which back 2010, and when that happens, both those indicators get over 40, a surge pattern happens. Well, right after that, uh, the market kind of peaked and uh, consolidated since then. And now we we're back on a buy signal. Well, right. those surge patterns really lead to powerful rallies, similar to the one we had like in 2019 and 2016. So I'm thinking this one we're in right now, uh, since the other the other two did surge patterns, uh, and they really had powerful rallies. I think this one probably will too. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to break above 30, you know, the previous highs of 36, and probably get somewhere in the 40s on GDX. I'm thinking 40. 44, 45, up in that range. And so I don't know, but there's a lot of good stuff. Going Which on makes there. sense then, because 40, 40, 45 I mean, is the high of, so. of uh, 2020. Say that again. 45, 45, 78 is the high of 2020. Two, okay. Two, that. Yeah, okay, $45 yeah. Dollars is the I'm high of the... We're going to take at least a good shot at that. Right, which is sweet. No, I'm with you, right. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm thinking, with the, I guess the stars are aligned on a on a bigger time frame, on an immediate term time frame, and especially on a uh, short-term time frame. Right. So the, the, this current rally is just... It's, 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 we'll probably see some sort of high in October. You'll see another consolidation. The consolidation, I think, Instead of the market getting the crap beat out of it, which is already have, if you look at that first chart I showed you, you know, since 2021 January, the market really got the crap beat out of it. Yes. So we're done. I think going down. We got a base building period going on right now on the bigger time frames, um, on on this uh, weekly GDX cumulative chart. Uh, so I think we're building cause here. So I think next, you know, like one and a half years is going to be. The gold stocks are going to be pretty much in favor. So, and I don't know if you help. saw this today yet, but this dollar is getting absolutely destroyed, Tim. The dollar, the the dollar index broke out its lows of a monster consolidation. You know, it already broke par, and this is the DXY. So, in three days, the DXY kind of went from like 103 to 99. And it looks like the next move looks like it's going to be down to 89. So, you know, that's that the stars are there with us also. Yeah, yeah, yeah I totally agree. I don't follow the, the dollar. You know, to me, I'm always like I'm a simpleton. I try to keep as simple as I yep, can. I'm with you. I uh, get it. So, but yeah, there's a lot of things affecting that. But the whole thing here is we, we got really advanced decline. We got up down volume matching. Yes. Uh, kind of all three time frames. So. It, it should be a really, uh, I'm hoping that, you know, next year, year and a half, be a fun period. But if you ever look at the bigger, big time frames, uh, gold stocks are cyclical. Right. They go up for a couple, three years, yep. and they come right back down again. Right. They go up a couple, three years, and they come right back down right. again. So, you know, so, so whatever this next sell signal is, you know, on, on the bigger time frames, uh, you better pay attention because uh, I think, you know, they all come back out you again, but. Now, right get, now, get that we're, quote, we're folks, good. that quote that Tim just said, because, Tim, I totally agree. I've said it many times. And you know what's so sad to me, Tim, is that there's so many gold bugs. I mean, we trade gold, okay? And there's nothing yeah. wrong with a gold bug, but you got to sell because the bottom line is that there's a lot of money when these things go up, but they are cyclical and they go back down, period. There's no doubt yeah. about it. That's, that's what makes them so much fun. But if you don't sell, then there's no fun, man. You know, because, yeah. you know, you, have, you had all this money in your account and you don't sell. And it's like, okay, man. And then all of a sudden it's down at a lower price again. So, wow. Yeah. yeah but, but the thing about gold stocks, too, I mean, when they run, they, they, they don't, you know, they do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. Yes. 
And I remember BGO when I first uh, <laughs> my big hit back in yep. I don't know two thousand. I bought that thing at a quarter. It went to sixteen dollars. I know, man. So, Six- but I sold before. But yeah, I didn't get to six. But I did buy it at around the quarter, twenty eight, twenty seven. Oh yeah, so, we did. I, I think I got under thirty two cents. I mean, remember we had BGO. That's when CD. That's when Quarter Lane was actually a good one too. CDE. That they they blew their brains out. But yeah, we. I think we got. Yeah, that that was that was pretty intense, man. There's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. it was intense. And so that's why I'm saying here, when they run, they run. Right. And so, but they don't run forever. They that's don't. The problem with they them. don't. That's it's not so. like an apple. Then you know you're only going to make so much money in the gold market, but you're going to make it very quick, folks. That's that's the point here. Okay, so let's go right. to the next shot, all right? Yeah, next chart. This is kind of a warning shot over the vowel here, I guess. Okay. But uh, this this chart is uh, the second window up from the bottom is just a 10-day average of the uh, arms index, or trend, T-R-I-N. Okay. And I shaded that area between 90 and, eight, uh, 90 and 80. It's a 10-day average. So every time uh, this indicator got to uh, minus 90 or lower, uh, I drew a red line, and so there's a lot of red lines going all the way back to looks like about mid 2019. So it's kind of a short-term indicator, but it, it does give a pretty good signals. So all those red lines usually, at a minimum, usually market just uh, stalls, and sometimes uh, they they pick out major highs. And so yesterday we we're at a point nine, today we're point nine five, but we're kind of in an area where it's it's. It's, it can get dangerous, you know. Point nine is the minimum. Um, so it's, it's do you do you get sell signals off this? Not really. It just tells you where you are in the market. It, it gets it tricky. Gets yeah. No, I'm with you. I got it. I trust me. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but so let's flip to the next year. Okay. Uh, so you know, so you kind of warning sign there. Okay, this chart is actually. It, 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 it can, uh, it can, uh, whoops, I did the wrong chart. Uh, this is the wrong chart? I you? No, I get... actually I did. This is right. This is right. I, I, I kind of added to it and I'm not sure why I sent you, but, uh, this, this chart is a chart that, um, can really pick out highs. And okay, here, just, is... did, Tim, just hold that thought for a second. We got another quick break. We'll come right back. That's, that's, right. that's a good tease, folks, okay, because this is going to be the top picking chart. This, this is uh, Tim Ward, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 73, Nasdaq's up 229, S&P's up 38. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 85, NASDAQ's up 235, S&Ps are up 40. We're talking with our Tim, our man, Mr. Tim Ord. It can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. We are talking now the S&P. Okay, Tim, I got this chart up. Right. Uh, did uh, I sent you over another chart? Sent it to Tommy and sent it to Jacob. Oh. Sent it to you, did. Okay. Did you time to put that one up. No, we'll get it. Yep, absolutely. One second. Did you send it to me too, or just them? Yeah, I sent it to all three of you. Okay, cool. One second. Is it the um? Okay, one second. Oh, Tim Wood. Sorry, one second. That's all right. That's all right. Let's see. The one, the one I have the up here is yeah, top yeah. picking weekly uh, S and P with the VIX. Yeah, with the SPX, the yeah, VIX higher high equal bull. Anyhow, uh, did you get it? Yeah, I think I have it up. Uh, that's what I. Yeah, that's what I get up. S and P higher highs and SPX VIX right, ratio, okay. right? Right, right. Okay. Uh, the bottom window uh, is a VIX. Anything below uh, uh, 17 yes, is in, I have it. in Good. trending mode. Okay. And and so far, you know, today when I blew this chart up, uh, uh, typed this chart out, it was 13.29. That remains bullish. But what I really watch for is the next chart up from the bottom, the a second window up from the bottom. Yes. Which is just the SPX VIX ratio. Right. And so the VIX really kind of gives you a warning that a, a top may be showing up. Okay. Because the VIX starts going up, and the SP uh, the SPX is uh, both going up. That's usually a bad sign. And right now, over the last couple of weeks, the S and P's has made higher highs, and also that ratio has made higher highs. Had that ratio made lower highs, that would be the time to, to possibly. A sell your position or looking even at your short position. Okay, this is but great to know. Right so, now, this, so right now, sorry, and that's that's the ratio I'm waiting for. Trust me, because let me tell you something. It's really hard for me to buy this market, but I've <laughs> I've been following this thing, man. So it's a trip up at these levels, right? It's like, man, oh man, I you know. But the bottom line is that this so this thing is still higher. The ratio is still higher, right? Yeah, ratio is yeah. still higher. So, yeah. you know, I'm thinking, well, you know, it's. You know, I'm getting ready to sell. You know, no, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe, you know, normally when these highs occur, nobody believes you anyhow. I know. You know I know. You know. And it takes, takes you know, it takes guts to, you know, step in front of a train, hoping it's going to stop before it hits you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, Seriously. So you, you got to, you know, wait for these signals to occur. And, uh, you know, nothing's perfect, but there's two indicators here that, Suggest this market still can move, move higher. It'll change all of a sudden, right? Um, but I don't, you know. I think this week's safe. Next week is option expiration week, which normally leans bullish. So we'll just wait and see. But as said, right now, you know, I've been long for a while. 
Yep. And at the moment, I don't see a reason to sell that position. So, um, you know, seasonality turns bearish uh, July 27th, I think, and runs into October 27th. So I think we'll still have kind of a rough summer, but the gold uh, uh, issues will probably really be outperforming, you know, the S&P. So that's probably the place to be. And the equity markets, you know, we could see, I don't know what type of a decline, or it may be just a sideways market. We'll have to wait and see, but right now it remains bullish. Yeah, and you know what's amazing, Tim, is that the, actually when we were talking on the phone too, but to let the, the, the you know, listeners know, what happens is that the Fed meeting, folks, is July 26th, and the rebalance inside the NDX 100 is July 27th. So it's ironic that that lines up with maybe the beginning of a you know a bearish uh, at least well lines up with a a bearish cycle let's put it this way you know so yeah but yeah. guess what it's, it's only july 13th right now man we could be up another 100 s p points before that <laughs> yeah yeah we could we don't know so but you know you, you play the numbers and stuff and so this is what this game's about yeah so, and uh but. so yeah, this is pretty cool, man. I, I get it. So the middle of that, yeah. big retracement, week, the weekly S&P. Oh, I got it, too. It's the weekly S&P. That's what you're looking at, too, right? Right. Yeah, this is the weekly. So yeah. I traded with the daily uh, stuff. And, and, you know, uh, you know, this is not in books. That's the trouble. You have to go figure this stuff out yourself. Right, right, and which is so, so cool. I experimented right. a lot of different stuff. and. And, uh, you know, trend your friend stuff. And, you know, and so yeah, I had to I start playing around with the VIX. VIX had a lot of information in it. It's just trouble trying to find out how to get it out of it, you know. Right. So, uh, but, you know, you don't really want to get too bearish here until that VIX starts rising. Yes. And uh, I don't know when that's going to come, but evidently the smart money thinks it can go higher, and that's keeping the VIX down. So we'll wait until, you know, they decide that, we're probably near some sort of a high. So it's, it's uh, you know, if you look back in history here, you know, every time that thing was, you know, where it is right now, the market really, in general, just stayed higher. Yes. You know, until right at the end. And then um, that ratio, that big starts going up and that ratio starts going down. And I thought last week when that ratio, we had a little minor consolidation and the SPX VIX ratio did turn down, which I uh, noted uh, I think on our last discussion, I'm thinking, well, this could be it. Well, it yep. turns out Mark went to new high, and also that ratio went to new highs. Right. So I'm thinking, well, that wasn't it. You know so, what's wild, Tim? So check this out, folks. And I remember this so well. July 14th of 1998, okay, we were on the okay. air, you and I. And I was on the air. I used to have a, a home down in Menemshire Harbor, okay, and I was doing the program if you ever saw Jaws, folks, okay, I was out on the deck doing the program live. And that's when the market had the Asian contagion. And I remember it so well because, so picture it, what I had to do, I packed up my stuff. I had a Boston whaler, jumped in the whaler, <laughs> went over to Falmouth, get in my car, and came all the way back because that was the beginning of the downtrend from July 14th going all the way to October. And then remember in October, that's when we were on the air. And then you said to me, I gotta get off the air because I gotta buy this market. Cause that, that's when Alan Greenspan and uh, Ruben came on the air and took interest rates down by two, two, uh, 200 basis points or 2% at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll never forget yeah. July 14th. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I remember that because uh, it was it was about a half hour before the close, I think, yes. and we were talking. And, right. And you had some other guy on there, too, I yeah, think. Yeah, we had was, we had Mark and we had Peter. There's three of us. There was three of us on there. We were trading live, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, you know and I, I went on and you know, got off and thinking, I was trying to, uh, that back then you had two, two computers, you know, remember those? Yes. Uh, well, CTR, I don't know what you call those things. That's you know, right. You didn't really see very well with them. Right. And I was trying to put the orders in, and we were talking. I'm thinking, you know, I got to hang up here because I was buying call options. Right, right, and, right. Know, I was trying to get in there. And, <laughs> and, and actually, that was the low. That was the low. I think it. That was the low. Yeah. The, and then the market never turned back. And, no, it never uh, did, man. It, 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 well, listen, yeah, man, that, that Tim, was, it's always fun. a pleasure, oh. man. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next week, okay? 
All right, sounds good. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Don't forget, folks, you can get a hold of them at or-oracle.com. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 50. You got the NASDAQ up 228. S&Ps are up 38. Let's go take a look at this market. And, you know, for a market that started out, you know, for the first four hours, folks, it just went sideways. And then, you know what, it just went. And so you get, let's take a look at this. So you can see, you put this, you know, the SPY 443 is the break, top side. You're six points above it. But that's, the further you get away from the break, folks, the higher you can go. We take a look at the, I, listen, I know it's crazy, but it is what it is. You take a look at the cues and the same situation. You know, you got, you're up 670. The further you get away from the 372, the higher you can go. And what I would do, I mean, if you're trading this market, in the morning, you got to take a look at this dollar, man. The, the, the further the dollar goes, the higher that our markets can go. And you can see this. This is, this is quite a move. You know, I think what will happen is that you're going to be hearing a lot of news about this dollar, that's for sure. Because when you, when you take this, you know, this is quite a move in the dollar. You know, it's a decisive break of the consolidation. We haven't been to this level since, let's see, 2022. And the next, the next level, you know, bottom line is, you know, 
the lower end of this consolidation is um, 89. You know, and just to give you a heads up, listen to this. Why watch this? This gets this gets wild actually because we haven't been there in so long. But the dollar in 2007 was down at 70. <laughs> you know, so we did. Let's let's look at this. This is wild. So we did a bounce of over 78 percent from the highs of 121 in 2000. That's when I bought gold at 282. And if then you had the lows of 70. This this run in the dollar was extraordinary. But guess what? Now it's on its way down to 89. So hang on for the ride, folks. If you haven't checked out the gold report, check it out. You can get it for 30 days absolutely free. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Go get them, folks.